So I was recently down at the uh, Jumbo's Edge Resort in Costa Rica training and surfing. We had a little training trip there. And I was showing a half car pass to one of my buddies, Jason Keaton, he's a black belt. And uh, he got a kick out of it, so I'm gonna show it to you guys. Yeah. It's very simple. <laughs> <laughs> So, Adam here has half guard on me. Now, Adam in the gym is one of those dudes, man. He does this. He'll, he'll like shoot up deep half and all that kind of stuff. He'll shoot through, go to deep half, and really just give me a lot of trouble, okay? Now, none of it actually works because, I mean, I'm a black belt. He's a purple belt. But, look at all right, here As stated before, you know, he can get there, but nothing's going to happen. But what I'm going to do is, I, when you get a guy like that, the guy that's trying to sweep up under you, okay, he's because he's trying to dive up. He's trying. To, <laughs> All right, so he, the guy like that, like this, is trying to dive in. Okay, we we want to keep him away from us. Okay, so a couple of grips that you can do, and this is what was frustrating my buddy when I was doing the pass in Costa Rica, is when he tries to grip, I'm going to grip, or when he tries to get under me, I'm going to grip into his armpit right here and just kind of push on his chest, and I'm gonna make space. So he's gonna hold on to that, that, that leg there, that half guard, but if he tries to get up under me, it's not happening. Look at him, he's flailing around. He looks like a chicken or something. He's not getting under me though, okay? And so this is what I want. Now, the last piece, and this is something I don't, when I was training one time, um, it was uh, right before the pans, back in 2013, there was this guy, and I, I, I was rolling with him, and. He did a couple of cool things, but the thing that he did that was kind of different to me was he would keep his forehead glued right into my sternum the whole time. So that little part where your ribcage tapers down, it's like a sweet spot right there. And you're going to take the part, basically the, your forehead, top of your forehead here, and once you make your space, you're going to just glue that right in here and get up on your toe here. And I mean, there's a lot of pressure at this point. Right, Adam? Mm-hmm. There we go. Okay. Now, as we're doing that, we're going to bring our hands back. So we've got this pressure here. My hands are gonna to continue to push here, right to the armpit, the rib area here, just keeping some pressure. This hand is going to grip on the bottom of the leg here, okay? And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna kinda of camp out here for a second, okay? Because what happens, if he tries to sit up, he can't sit up, I'm actively on my toes right now, right? Okay, now what's gonna happen is a lot of times guys will, you'll start to feel this lock loosen up. And when it loosens up, boom, you're gonna kick, drive the knee out of the way, and you essentially got an X pass. So again, let's take a look at it. So we're here. We know this guy, he's been trying to dive up under us to do a deep path. We're gonna keep him back. We're jamming up in the armpits, keep him back. Not happening. Take the top of your head, jam it into his chest here, and we're gonna bring this arm in. So this arm right now is kind of out. I'm gonna bring the arm in. Small little adjustment here, and push my head right into his body, okay? Now, from here, you can get up on your toes if you need to. And when I get ready to kick that leg out, whenever I feel that this lock here is a little loose, right, you don't have that same tension that you had, I'm going to put, put all my weight on my knee and kick, boom, pushing the knee out. Because again, once we get here, this hand's gonna go from the chest to the knee. And you're just gonna rock your weight to that knee, kick, push, and then drive your shoulder in. You got it. A pretty simple little half guard pass. So, one more time. Boom. No deep half guard. Put the chest in there. Putting some pressure. Trying to make space when I'm ready. That is past his half guard, which pretty much happens every day in the gym. Not every day. Every freaking day. Most days. Most All right, guys. So, if you get a guy who's got that deep half guard position or he's good at it, or they're good at diving under you and then basically getting that underhook. Keep space, don't let them get closer to you. And you can use it, this is just a simple way to bust it like that. Simpler, it's similar to a X pass. So if you think of this type of stuff, boom. If you use, if you use these kinds of different X passes here already, it might fit into your game pretty well. Give it a try. Adam. 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 All right. The extreme close up. Whoa. Whoa. Will you give me?